Thank you for staying with us. It's time for our next hot topic. A man climbed a mast on Katankwe Hill in Abuja on Monday, expressing his willingness to sacrifice his life to address national issues. He left a suicide note at the base of the mast, demanding government action on several critical matters. In his note, he called for the return of the fuel subsidy, a declaration of a state of emergency in Zamfara, Sokoto, Kebi, Katsina, Kaduna, Niger, and Bornu, due to security and immediate government action to eradicate terrorism in these states and the country at large. He also demanded the opening of borders for food importation to address food shortages and a response to the increasing problem of out-of-school children. Officials from the Fire Service, National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, and other FCT officials were present at the scene to intervene. This incident is reminiscent of a, part of a similar protest in September 2018 when Nuruddin Liliasu climbed a telecommunications mast in Abuja to protest the poor economy. Now, talking about the economy, the state of the nation, and what's going on right now is Wisdom Chap Jumbo. He's a public affairs analyst and is joining us to have a discussion. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Us. Thank you so much for having me. Good uh, to see you guys again. Thanks Good for bringing the again. wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Jumbo size wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're talking state of the nation. I think mm. let's start with this. In your own opinion, what is the economic situation in Nigeria right now? How is it going for you? Ah, it is not going well for, for many of us. Yeah. Um, I mean, let's not lie about this. Uh, it's it's tough, you know. Sometimes I take a pause and I want to imagine what is happening with the people that uh, probably I imagine I earn more than, or maybe mm -hmm. I'm higher earn now, you know, more than they are. And look at, you know, what they will be expecting. Even with me, I'm crying, you know, where I am at the moment. So, so the country is, the economic situation is is not in a in a in a good state at the moment. Inflation is high. The cost. Have you have you gone to the market lately? Um, mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't want to go to the market. You know, it's scary. Yeah. It, it looks like, you know, every uh, uh, AK market, the, the cost of price is increasing. Uh, I don't <laughs> think it's that. I think morning, evening, <laughs> okay, the, the prices, prices, the prices yeah. are yeah, changing. So, so you can imagine, it's really tough. And and uh, what is happening with other Nigerians, it's, it's, it's something that's on transportation to food in the market. I'm not sure what we can do, and and, and of course to to the cost of electricity, yeah. to all of it. So I, I'm not sure what 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 the government is doing exactly. That if we see any light at the end of the tunnel, but uh, we understand different efforts have been put in place. Uh, I think the dollar has been stable. Well, um, now the dollar is yeah. over one thousand five hundred. Uh -huh. In fact, so, it was on the papers this morning. Yeah, so we need to watch some of these things. We need to. I, I heard recently that the president is giving some. Uh, waivers on, uh, on food import yeah what import do you think about that well if that will help let's do it because it's for 180 days after that five months yes yeah, so then they need to think of a long-term approach what do we do in long term because in three months i'm not sure this thing will go up you know the way mm -hmm. it is it's it's really bad uh, i just recently in my area everybody in the community had to they had to hold a meeting just to go and meet neck to reduce them from band A to band Are B. Because if they add the cost they will not spend if they're on band A on electricity and they add it to the cost of their living, feeding, school fees, transportation. They're not they, 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 so now people are <laughs> opting to go down to band, band B. B. Yes, people are opting, yes. And the last time you were here, we were even talking about electricity, the yes. tariff, if people would be able to mm. afford it. Mm. And, you know, there was a consensus that most people just want the electricity. Most people want to be able to have it and they'll pay regardless of what the amount might be. But looking at this... When we had that conversation, <laughs> <laughs> and where we are today, is not the same. It wow. does seem to have changed. You know, so I think the, the number of people who can afford to still pay it... Um, uh, they are they are very small. They are, they are, I mean, they are very minor. That the larger amount of people who can't afford it, even businesses. I mean, the business owner was telling me now that wisdom. I think I have to go on diesel. Wow. Because the cost of being on by it, hey. it seems to be more expensive than buying diesel to run my generator. So we have a problem. Mm. Obviously, we have a big problem, which is something we need to look at as soon as we can, because the economy now. I don't know. Uh, um, go on the streets, don't sit in your office somewhere and be thinking, go on the street, ask people, survival is hard. Yeah. People are hitting it hard. 
Okay, well, yeah, I, I kind of know what you're saying, whether it's the market situation or anything, I, mm. I have feel as I go out and, and I, I try to sample opinions and all that. It's difficult, very difficult. Mm. Yeah, uh, but let's look, at, let's look at what we need to do as a people, because the trigger for this discussion is that someone climbed the mast. Mm -hmm. And in other countries, you see some people, they go on hunger strike and the government will listen to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if, you, if you strike hunger, yeah, hunger will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more like a suicide as well. Yeah. So that man has been arrested. Nothing has been talked about uh, the issues he wanted addressed. He highlighted There's a, a social media influencer that they call Flag Boy. Mm -hmm. He has been arrested because he went on a protest. There's uh, another lawyer. In fact, he was supposed to be on the show this morning. He has been arrested because they went on a protest against hunger in Abuja yesterday. Uh, Hans Anoku, a, a yeah. veteran in the Nollywood, also went on a loon um, protest. Uh, protest. But we've not heard about his arrest anyway. But this is what is happening. And people are trying to say something about what is going on. But the government keeps branding them anti-government, you want to spoil Tinubu's government, you want to do this and that. How else do you think we can make these feelings heard? Because we don't want to get to Kenya. Mm. I think what happened in Kenya should be a very serious lesson for, for our government in Nigeria. Um, the people's voice must be heard. Yeah. And over time, I mean, not just with the Tinubu government, we can see that over time, when people try to protest, you know, we get this arrest and all of that. But shockingly, people in this government now and the same people who are leaders mm -hmm. of protests mm -hmm. and some yeah. in time. So, I mean, protests are, I mean, are, are civil rights. You know, people, people are entitled to, to, to lend their voice to issues as long as you do them peacefully. But we need to let government and people in government know that rather than arrest these people the way you're doing, we need to address, you know, the crux of the issue. You know, how are we speaking to, what are we doing to, to save our nation from hunger? What are we doing to, to support people? We need the handlers of government, especially at the federal government level, need to be able to project more. What government is, is doing on these different areas where we are having these issues? What is the hope? We, they said this is renewed hope. We need to speak as a government from the point of where we are giving hope to people. Arresting them and still going in the, in the, in the direction we are going will not help. I mean, I would not support this man who wanted to kill himself whenever we, you know, mm -hmm. try to tell you, you could have lost your life yeah. one way or the other. I mean, I wouldn't support you taking your life for any reason. Mm -hmm. And but, it's illegal. And it's, it's illegal. It's a criminal so, act. So yeah. we need to find creative ways of how, that's why the social media has really been helpful whether you like it or not. You know, mm -hmm. this, just this morning, I watched a documentary of how someone explained, you know, what is even happening in, in the National Assembly with the monies, the payment and everything. The person did an in-depth research. So, while we try to protest, we need to stay on the issues. You know, it's just like what's happening in River State at the same time too, where government and politics and people are, you know, they, 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 they are fighting, the people mm -hmm. are suffering mm -hmm. because government is not doing the work that it needs to do. So the handlers of government need to project, what are we doing to give the people hope? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have had, we have announced three months of, you know, this tax thing for food, importation and all of that. Okay, after that, what next? Minimum wage, we've not heard anything now. The, go the federal government say, oh, we are still consulting. Still, mm. you know, and that is very critical because that solves a lot of problems, you know. Now, a, a bag of uh, 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 rice is around uh, 70 to 80. 85, 90,000. 85, 90,000. Uh, so a man that earns 30,000 to 3,000, how will that man survive? Transportation is high right now. Uh, 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 the cost of uh, petrol is high, you know. So if all of these things are the way they are, how do you expect the common man to survive? And mind you, while they are telling us to adjust, we are not seeing government doing the mm. same. That is the, that is the major problem we are having. You know, when you are telling the people to look, just adjust, it's time now, things are coming. You as a government, as the leaders, we can't see you doing anything on your own end to cut down the costs of running the government. You still do the same thing. So the people look at us and say, oh, you're not helping us. That's why the labor unions are holding strong on this minimum wage thing, for example. Because if you want us to cut our cost, NASA has not cut its own cost. They still, they still earn the same money. Mm -hmm. they, I've not heard the president says I'm going to slash my own salary by 50%. There's mm -hmm. no money for us to pay. But you people keep saying there's no money. So I, I don't know where they're looking at because the Kenya where you're referencing. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the president 
had to remove the budget for the first lady mm -hmm. uh, in nigeria also first lady's office is not constitutional but mm -hmm. we we budget a lot of money for that office, for that office. the kenya um, kenyan president cut down uh, the monies that go to the ministers and yeah. the national assembly and all that but the, the thing is that he waited until there was a protest. Uh -huh. That is what the African, African leaders so, are doing. So I, I don't know what we're going to do again, because it seems as if it is on us now. Mm, what mm. do we do? We, we, the government needs to stop waiting for people to get to that point. To the know, breaking point. To the breaking point, before we know what to do. You know, the expectation always of government is, look, we know that there's no money. We know what is happening in the economic situation. Why don't we adjust? In, in River State, I mean, where I come from, one chairman has employed, I mean, has appointed 600 appointees. You know, 600. 600, a local government wow. chairman, 600 appointees. You know, that is ridiculous. You know, we need to cut down these things. That's why the labor unions are not believing what government is saying. saying if you're saying there is no money to pay each worker 100,000 or 60,000 a month, we want to see you also reflect on that. Mm -hmm. Have you cut down your own costs? What is the size of running your own government? Your budget cannot be this high and you're telling us to adjust. Mm -hmm. We also need the money. We also need to survive. That's why you see these things make you know being in public office so attractive because you're telling the people that there's no money. Mm -hmm. But we can see you, you're living a lavish lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not helping in any way. So these are the things that government needs to look at. You can't be telling us there's no money, there's no money. And mm -hmm. we are seeing you living a life you know that is is beyond what you should be. So and I think you're asking is, us to tighten our belt yes. and make the yeah, sacrifice. So we want, we want to see you also make the sacrifice. It should mm -hmm. it should be mutual. Yes. We want to see that visibility. If you say there is no money and we can't do this, how are you cutting down your cost? So spending money on on unnecessary things. I just saw Nancy announcing that they want to redesign their logo and they are calling for people to present new logos. And the first question that I replied on the tweet was, please, what happened to the present logo? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with That's it? That's expired. What is wrong? The NASDAQ with number of logos. Yeah, right. <laughs> Rather than expired. address the issues that have been raised around, you know, some of the things that came up recently around them, see, the first thing you're doing now is to redesign logo. You know, what is wrong with the present logo? Why are you reinventing the world? These are the things that we see and then we just feel government is not serious. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. sometimes it might just be misplaced priorities. Exactly what it to is. To be honest. Honestly, exactly what it is. But looking at this story, because this is a trigger too, and I'm mm -hmm. sure so many people feel this way. Of course, suicide is never an option. Yeah. But this man highlighted uh, several issues, yes. one of which was fuel subsidy, another is insecurity, another is food shortages, and then I think he also spoke about how to out-of-school children as well. So if you look at the things he wrote down, mm -hmm. right, it cuts across different sectors, mm -hmm. from the economy to, you know, health, insecurity. to, yeah, to insecurity, to education as well. What do you think the government is doing? Does it feel like there's too much load on the government and they have no clue on what they're doing at the moment? Or if you were to even say, okay, these are ways to address all of this, what would that be? I'll tell you from fair, I mean, being the fact that one way or the other, I mean, I've, I've been inside of government before, I'll tell you one of the issues government people always have is they don't want to focus on the priorities. Mm -hmm. You want to focus on your own agenda. Mm. You need to work with the people. This man raised some points, and it's not, and they're the fact of it. Mm. Insecurity is still a problem for us. There are some areas in the north you can't go. You know, if you have to go, you have to go with heavy security. Not just the north, even down south. Mm -hmm. There are some areas down south, especially in the south south, you may want to go. You need heavy security to go. The southeast issue is still there. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? We need to address it. So. When people get into government, it seems like they want to begin to do their own agenda. You know, but what what are the what do the people need now? What are those things you need to focus on with the people? So I think in all these issues this person has raised, the government needs to look at it. We need to say, okay, what, what have we done in this area, in this area? Mm -hmm. We need to be able to revisit and be able to re-energize hope for the people. Where is hope on these issues? And one point if you look at everything the guy raised was because I mean the food. Yeah. You know, people are not having food to eat. It's really bad. You know, now, with, even, it used to happen in the north before. It's even now in the south. It's like, people now take crumbs from parties. You know, you go to parties where they, wow. where they share food. People are there to pack the plates and wash it just to carry the crumbs of the food. Because food is expensive now. It is mm. tough. We, we either speak, say it now or we don't say it at all. You know, so what are we doing? What are we doing to make sure that food is available? 
I mean, they could be fears or they are fears that we may run out of food at some point. What is government doing? Mm. So we need to speak to some of these things now. And instead of fighting people who raise this issue or calling them anti-government, we need to speak to the crux of the issue. What are we doing? We strategic to them attack the people. You know, because if not, we, we may just likely see more of this. Mm. More, more people may want to go through extreme, uh, extreme measures, yeah, you know, because they are point. frustrated. Mm -hmm. You know, we had of one CEO who, who jumped through, took you know, took his life, not Mellon Bridge. You know, where, where did he jump from? Someone in Delta State as well. Yes, I watched, from yes, yes. Yes. Like so, you know, I saw that was a lady, yeah. yeah a lady. I saw a lady, yeah. So, you see, more of this may just be happening because people are frustrated. People, we need to say this so that we hear us. Oh People are frustrated. It's it, it's hard to survive now. Maybe you want to ask your drivers, your cleaners, you know, your your helps around and your, your caregivers, ask them how they survive on the mega salary, on the, on the mega salary of yeah. thirty thousand, fifty thousand. Yeah. You know, if people don't go out again, I read a tweet where people now they prefer to stay in those. Eateries are shutting down, down. Yes, because, because people are not buying the food it. that you could just go out to hang out with your friends and family that you could spend a plate of fifteen thousand or twenty thousand. You know, you go now it's around fifty to sixty, almost two hundred k. You know, for, for, for a date night. Or yes, I just went on a date night the other day, and by the time they brought the bill, it's around seventy thousand. And I yeah. wonder what did I eat? <laughs> <laughs> what did I eat? No. Okay, well, you are you are in the business um, world. Um, before you go, mm -hmm. what what are the changes you would like the government to do immediately now to mm -hmm. to start that? Is, those are the kind of palliatives me I'm looking at, mm. policies that will impact on businesses, policies that will impact on agriculture and the food that we need to eat and all that. So in the business uh, sector, what are the changes you would love to see now? We must continue to watch the dollar uh, because the rise and fall of the dollar, we know how it affects businesses. Uh, because, for example, investors uh, may not be able to forecast and plan, you know, if I put mm. money here now, what it will it look like? You know, we need to continue to watch that. Whatever the CBN is doing around that, you know, they need to be able to watch it more and let that stabilize. We also need to look at incentive for small, medium, uh, medium enterprises. How do we support them? If the government is doing anything at the moment around that, they need to amplify it. We need to see what is happening there because those small, medium enterprises are the backbone of the economy. They need to try, you know, because they employ some of the people down there. What's, whatever support the government is giving around small and medium enterprises, they need to amplify it. We need to see that it's visible. We need to create grants, you know, for small businesses to be able to have a first job. Mm. What is happening around that? Because businesses may likely begin to shut down because the cost of running... They are shutting business, down. They are shutting, yeah. down. Yeah, shutting down. So because the cost of running a business alone is, is crazy at the moment. One thing that eats your the chunk of your money of running a business is power. Yeah, you know, and, and if we can make that power available, that will help a lot of businesses. What is happening within power at the moment? You know, households, businesses are crying around the band, you know, separation and all of that. What is government doing around that? Mm. What are we doing to make energy available for, for you know for the last mile? We need to be able to focus on that. Whatever is being done there, government needs to amplify. If it is good, we need to amplify. Mm. I know I will keep talking on these issues. I was at the energy. Energy Week in Abuja just yeah. last week. Yeah. We are talking about all the same issues again. Mm -hmm. We need to move from talking to you know, doing, to doing actions. And, and actions and be able to amplify well enough what is happening within this thing. So Nigerians can know we need to have hope. Right now, I don't think mm -hmm. there is yeah. hope. That's quite unfortunate. No hope to renew. No hope. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. And as you look, a lot of issues are happening from, from, from the FCT to to different, you know, some nationals. Mm -hmm. Look at River State, what is happening mm -hmm. now? You know, mm -hmm. we, we need to look at what's happening in River State, for example. A lot. And who cares about the people now when government and political figures are, you know, are, are misusing and look ahead? So, what's happening there? Mm -hmm. we need to, out of school children is very another issue yeah. again. Education is what we need to pay attention to. We say we're the leaders of tomorrow. What are we doing around education? What is happening there? Our schools, our universities. There, I mean, one of the school associations is planning to go on strike, mm. you know, this week. And once they go on strike, the students are out of school again. Yeah. How are we helping these kids if this strike and strike mm. continue? Can government just look at their issues and solve it? Is it rocket science? <laughs> well, 
it's not rocket science because like you said it's important that the government today they look at these issues mm -hmm. and try to follow suit um it's not about their own personal agenda it's mm -hmm. about saying what is for because that's what democracy is even yeah. about it's yeah. about listening to the people mm -hmm. and trying to ensure that they have welfare in fact the primary responsibility of the government is for welfare the welfare and the security of the people yes. and they are failing on both parts, yeah. when it comes to our welfare, because mm -hmm. that's the economic situation we're talking about, they're failing. Mm -hmm. When it comes to, sec um, to security, mm -hmm. insecurity is ravaging the country. But this is where I'm just going to wrap it up here. <laughs> I hope that oh, the, we can God. have a proactive government. Because all of these things that have happened right now are things that have happened even from past administrations. Since 1982. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you look at so our history, seen, so since seen, 1982, yeah. the same issues we are discussing. Yeah. So you're seeing, you're seeing Nigeria deteriorate. You're seeing, you know, our nation deplete day in, day out. Mm -hmm. And we keep talking about it, but we're not really doing so much. So I hope that the leaders who are there now are going to try to be more proactive about it and we just have a better nation. And not just bring us national anthem from the 60s. <laughs> you know. All right, this is where we have to wrap it up on the show today. Thank you so much for having the breakfast with us. We'll see you again tomorrow. We'll be sticking with Wisdom, Chaf Jumbo. We've just been talking about the state of the nation and how Nigerians are crying for help. And we hope that the government will do something. But yes, this is, this is where we have to wrap it up on the show today. Thank you so much for having the breakfast with us. We'll see you again tomorrow. My name is Rumi Paulson. And I am Nyamgul Agaji. Tomorrow is another day. Let's meet. Have an amazing day. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.